And new at 11, Virginia Beach City employees packed council chambers tonight demanding a collective bargaining contract. But some residents in the audience argued against it. Marta Berglund was at the public comment session, and city employees and advocates told her this decision is long overdue, while some taxpayers are saying they're worried about the cost, Marta. That's right, Dan. City Council members heard comments from both sides of the argument tonight. While those in favor say it improves worker morale and public safety, those opposed say it takes power away from taxpayers. First responders, public school teachers, and other city employees say they've been fighting for collective bargaining for years. It was legalized in the Commonwealth in 2020. This is something that we have been working towards because we see what the benefits are to the community. So we've been thinking about it for quite some time. Max Ganano is the president of the International Association of Firefighters Local 2924. A letter from the union sent February 1st requested collective bargaining and triggered a 120-day clock. City Council must vote to either adopt or reject the measure within that time frame. If adopted, the city's 7,500 workers could unionize to negotiate wages, working conditions, benefits, and more. I mean, we need more. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got people working overtime, we've got people working two and three jobs. While advocates for collective bargaining say it would give city employees a seat at the table, those opposed worry how taxpayers will be affected. Collective bargaining is adversarial at its core. What is done without the taxpayers having any direct input will be what determines the amount of taxpayer funding. Other skeptics say the need for collective bargaining simply isn't there. They argue the city already treats its workers well. The city does take care of its workers. I think you're doing an outstanding job. While a number of critics spoke Tuesday night, the majority of the audience was there in support of the proposal. It is a moral imperative that we protect our workers. Collective bargaining provides a collaborative and transparent approach. Other concerns brought up by residents tonight included city employees being forced to join unions if they don't want to, and also first responders threatening to strike. Virginia state law bans forcing public employees to join unions. It also prohibits them from striking. Marta Berglund, 13 News Now. Marta, thanks. In November, Portsmouth became the first city in Hampton Roads to adopt collective bargaining. Two weeks later, Norfolk City Council voted against it. Virginia Beach City Council will discuss the issue again during a closed session on April 16th.